Today I will show you how to make the Shippy Distort effect. Yo, hello, it's Bobby Custom Editing Visuals here, let's begin. Alright guys, so here I have a net spend clip from the Nothing Like You music video, and for this effect, I really like the music to build up until some transition, so just listen into the music right here. You saw the build-up, right? When it's a build-up, I love this effect the most, but I'll show you what to do if it's not a build-up. So, let's just say that you're making this for a build-up. So, what you will want to do is press Ctrl Y to make a new adjustment layer. And now we can press Ctrl Shift D to cut the adjustment layer to the size you want. So, this is the size of my clip, and I'm gonna have it for the whole clip. So, it's gonna be this size, and I'm just gonna delete that. And here we have it. And now we can start adding the effects. So, the first effect I like to add is S Flicker. I'm gonna make the amplitude to zero at the start. And I'm gonna keyframe the amplitude here and now let's add echo here i like to make the echo operator to maximum a uh, number of echoes to free by the way you don't really even need echo this is a very optional effect sometimes i actually delete this and i will show you later and now you want to add s distort chroma now for this one you obviously need the sapphire plugin because this is one of the main effects for this effect so here you want to make the amount to zero and make the blur lens to 250 and now hold alt and press on the amount stopwatch and this will pop up so here you actually want to type wiggle parentheses 6 and then comma 0 0.08 now the 6 is actually kind of a lot here so you s sometimes and actually most of the times might want to have it to like even 4 or 5 but since this is a really big build up i'm gonna have it to 6 but remember this is just for like these build build ups and now we can press somewhere like here and it will save. Uh, yo, future Pavikas here. I noticed I made a bit of a mistake in the S to store uh, chroma settings. Here in the amount where I said zero, uh, you have to double press on the amount again. And I actually miswrote this a bit. So you have to write wiggle parentheses, you know, six comma, and then write 0 0.08. In the tutorial, I accidentally wrote 0 comma 8, but you have to actually write 0 0.8. Now you will be able to actually see the effect, but when I wrote comma, the effect just didn't pop up. So yeah, hopefully this helps. Sorry, guys. All right, now let's add CC Vignette. By the way, I'm adding every effect below every other effect. Now let's make the CC Vignette amount to 150. Now let's add levels. Keyframe the histogram stopwatch right here, and we'll change it later. And now let's add S distort RGB. Uh, make it the amount to zero at the start and keyframe the amount. And go to blur lens and make it to 150. Now let's add S shape. Uh, you want to make the amplitude at the start to zero. Keyframe it at the start to zero. All right, now we can start doing something. So let's go close to the end of our clip. I think uh, somewhere here. So that's over one second long. 10 frames before the ending. And here I'm going to change the S flicker amplitude actually. So I'm going to press U and this will pop up. And here I'm going to go to S flicker and I'm going to make it to 0.5 here just make the flicker slowly go up to 0.53 and now let's make the s shake amplitude to something like 0.089 so that's not gonna be a strong s shake but we just want something subtle now let's move one frame forward and let's go up to levels and here let's make the ample black to like 33.1 uh you can make this higher you can make this lower uh, sometimes you might want to make this a bit lower actually just because your clip might be a very dark clip and you won't need to even make it that dark or sometimes you might even want to make it darker just because if your clip is too bright now let's move two frames forward and now let's go down to s shake and here let's make s shake to 0 0.1 and go one frame forward and here let's make the s distort rgb to 0 0.01 so this is a very small amount but it does give that effect and the last thing i like to do sometimes is i like to go to like the full full ending i like to make the eschic amplitude to like 0 0.6 but this is just like for the transitions you you don't need to have it like that high at the end but i like it this is a very good build up i think and another thing i like to do for this build up is i like to press ctrl to y and here i'm gonna cut up the adjustment layer and here let's add s flicker i like to make the amplitude kind of height so like 0 0.5 and the random color amplitude to 0 0.5 as well this i think gives a very cool intensity effect uh, and it flickers and yeah, this is a very cool way to transition between two clips especially when the music is rising and i would really recommend to save this as effect as a preset so let's go to one of the effects press ctrl a uh, hold shift and select every single keyframe. Now go to animation, save animation preset. And here we can call it to a trippy distort 
effect. Or I guess I would maybe even call like build up here and you can press save. All right, now that we're done with that, I can show you some clips that are not actually for the build up. So leaving echo on actually give transitions like this because this is echo doing it. It takes frames from the back. This will make for a pretty cool transition usually, especially when the next clip is going in. As I made with this, I pressed S and I made it like scale up from 100 to 120. So that's why it gives this really cool transition you saw at the intro. Here I actually made the wiggle parentheses a bit different. Uh, so we can go to the amount, let's double press here and let's go here. And the yeah, wiggle I made four here because this is not a build up and this is just something normal. Uh, maybe four even is too much as well. Sometimes if the clip has barely any moment, you might even want to make it lower. So I think I have other clips where I made it even lower. On the next clip, I actually used an effect from my newest Neon Pieces pack. This is the Neon 15 effect. This is how it looked before and after. I think this effect is very good. It also gives that distortion as you can see and you can use a lot of other different neon effects but this is the one i like to use a lot in this specific style so yeah, all i did is just add neon 15 here and i actually messed around a bit with the opacity keyframe so if you press t you will see like the opacity is at 100 and then it goes down to zero at the ending so kind of transitions out here i actually have an example where i turned off the echo because this was moving very fast so if i turn on the echo again look this will look kind of bad so this is one situation where you don't want to use echo is when it's moving very fast don't always use echo when the clip is moving very fast you might want to make the wiggle amount to even higher than five or six you might want to make it even to like 10 but if the clip is barely moving then make the wiggle to even sometimes two and yeah guys that's basically it for the video if you have any questions please let me know have a fun and productive day see ya